Hi, it's Karen. <laughs> and Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. And today we are making lots of quick cards. So that will be very fun. And uh, the stamp sets we're going to be using are Queen Anne's Lace and So Much Fun. And do you know why we're doing that? These are included free in the demonstrator kit next month. So I thought this would be a really good time to play with them. But of course, first, we've got mail. Well, I'm waiting for Tim to pull that up. He's got to come over and do the mail. So I have a couple of really fun announcements here. This is the host code for this month. And this month, it is the Love of Leaves. Really pretty cards in the free card kit you get when you place an order. Uh, and it is JWNY2SCT. And I always put out a thing, does anyone have a great, I have two really great responses on this. And I'll have to look if there's any more. <laughs> I'll be saying them on Monday, which will be the last day for using this. I love this. Phyllis Blakesley wrote, just wishing and yearning to start crafting techniques. What a great sentence. And I said, that is just absolutely perfect. You know, this helps us remember. Of course, it's the end of the month and now we're finally getting to this, but I thought that was hilarious. Just wishing and yearning to start crafting techniques. Bravo for that one. And then this one was just hilarious. <laughs> Evelyn Jean Woody. So this is Jean Woody. <laughs> she put in, Jean Woody needs you to send cut tags. <laughs> I thought that was just the very best. Um, Self-serving announcement ever. Is that hilarious? <laughs> Not many of us have a last name or something there, but, or a first last name that goes with, you know, Jean Woody, so what we'll are, always remember her name. That is hilarious. What are cut tags? Well, you know, uh, whatever you want it to be, Tim. Cut tags, you know, like little tags you put on gifts or something, mm -hmm. and you have them all cut apart. Okay. You know, it's whatever you want to call but them. I've never it's heard whatever you want to send her. <laughs> I have never heard that before. <laughs> so, we love that. Did she make it up just for the CT? Well, it's just different. Or yeah, well, crafters, we all get it. We we, okay. we we don't have any trouble understanding what? it. Okay, Tim is just showing that he's crafter. not really. He is a craft performer, and he's proud of that. So yes. it's good. But let's get mail. We have two cards, and then an absolutely amazing gift. Okay, Karen and Tim Titus. Okay, for Tana Cruto in Washington. Oh, this is gorgeous, gorgeous and simple. And this is using the same um, die set bundle that, that I'm sending you in, that you're getting in your card kits. I don't know, I can't talk today. How cool is that? And this is just a lovely thank you. And you see how she did this? And now the inside is decorated too. That is just beautiful. Um, and she's just thanking me. She won some embellishments, so. And love getting thank you cards. And the best part about this card is T. Oh, okay, okay, for her name, and you could share that. You could share Tana that. Or Tim, Tana. Tim, Tim will notice that because he's real, really into that. I'm, in, I'm into it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then for Sharon Schleif, Schleifer, I never know how to say from Tennessee in Nashville. This adorable card. Another thank you card for some things that I sent her. Think, how cute is that? And I love this small size. And do you see how this comes to the mail just fine? Because we're going to be using a few of the smaller size cards today. So I think that's just really, really cute. And then, now a lot of you know that I'm also a quilter. I'm more of a, I, I used to be a quilter, you know. I still love quilting. I have a whole quilt collection that I picked up over the years. We have a trunk that came from Sweden with our ancestors in eight, and that was built in 1814 and it sits in our living room and it is full of my quilt collection. I'm actually going to, in September, we're going to have a quilt week and I'm going to be sharing stories about some of my quilts and I want you guys too over in the back porch stampers. And we could take a tour of that big chest. Yeah, I don't know if we'll get quite that far, but, but it's going to be a whole quilt week and we're going to be sharing both quilt cards and quilts and the stories behind them. So think of that if you're a quilter or you know any quilters because that'll be coming up. Had to wait till fall because you know that's when we kind of want to settle in and start and making things again. Either from Norway or Sweden. Yes, we've heard two things. Um, our ancestors basically came from Norway, but then we had friends from Norway here who were reading the writing on it and said, well, this is really Swedish. <laughs> well, I guess it was relatives. It wasn't even friends. It was friends and relatives from 
from Norway. So we always think we're Norwegian, but I think there's Swedish in there too. So this is a belated for hitting my <laughs> million in sales. And she says, sorry, this is a belated card and just thanking me for, she's in my downline for my leadership. Just a really, really sweet message. And then look what she sent. This one I did open. I have to open gifts ahead of time just to make sure that I'm right what I said. But whoop, how cool is this? And it's so cool. And look at this. She even, oh, I gotta show you this back corner. Do you see how she even wrote? That is so smart to do. She what wrote she in the back corner, Karen, and it's even pieced. Look at that. See that heart there? She says, in honor of your one million in sales, congrats on such an amazing achievement and being such an inspiration to everyone around you. Much love, Laurie Bontrager. Oh, I think that is just amazing to find a place of honor to put that in the house. I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, you know, oh, us crafters of many things. So anyway, we'll look forward to Craft Week. I will tell you time, but you want to um, be following, um, make sure. And then my other announcement before we get started is um, over in the backport stampers also, I'm going to be doing a free class and all the measurements and things you're going to need are going to be in there. So you want to be in there so you can prep your, your supplies. And this coming Monday, we have our Monday, our Me. monthly Monday mystery card making. So just go to Back Porch Stampers. I'll put a link. And then last week we had our all good, all about punches as part of our all good cards class um, club. Every month we spend a weekend together and kind of have a mini retreat. The next one in September is going to be about fun folds. We'd love to have you join us and it's only $15 if you go on the automatic pay. So now we're ready to make some fun cards. But can I just say one thing about this demonstrator kit? So this is what's added plus, it's over $50 worth of stuff. Plus you get some kits so that you could teach a class so that you could make a bunch of cards out of these, which is amazing. And so my question to you is, why would you want to join Stampin' Up! right now if you are a brand new crafter? I'll tell you why. Your wish list is so long and it is a way to just smooth it out. And, and um, what about if you're a really inexperienced crafter, why would you want to join now? A couple of reasons. One, you might want to get the embossing machine. You could get that embossing machine in your starter kit because you get anything you want, plus another little goodie get anything you want for $125 then you get all of this and some paper kits added for free uh, and I just want to say that I think there is so call me or email me call me 612-929-1277 if you want to chat about it but I think there's a really need that this pandemic has really brought out just our real need to connect and I know that as things get back to normal and some people now are back to teaching small groups in their homes it's all whatever you're comfortable with but we have all learned how to make do with this time and you know we crave connection I think there is such an opportunity for all of us to just get together a group of five or six people that love to connect either on Facebook or Zoom have your own small group you bring the ideas but you're the catalyst to bring this community together and that gives you just a nice small business that keeps you active and in on the fun of learning. And meanwhile, we have just an amazing group and fun to be with and you get all the perks. So anyway, I just want you to think about that because if, if you have been crafting and if you've taught anyone how to do anything with card making, if you've shown someone, you're already a teacher. You might as well just step into that role and own it. You know, we all, we're all teachers and you know, we all love to learn from each other. And I always say we're more creative together than we are separately. So, I love to talk about the opportunities. But now, let's stamp. <laughs> oh, people are loving the quilt. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes, I am just so thrilled with that. Okay, we're going to start first with, oh, you're going to want to stay to the end because Tim is going to make his, Tim's going to do the, what did you call it? The uh, window, uh, not the whatever box oh. card. What did you call it? Shadow. No. I, I call it a, a bridge card. Shadow box. People were asking how to do it, and Tim said, "Oh, it looks like a shadow box." So he's yeah. going to make that card at the yeah. end. Yes. And she still, and she still called it a window. <laughs> but I, yeah. I just can't. I just can't remember. It's a shadow okay, box. we're going to start with Queen Anne's lace. This is really fun styling of the words in here. I think they're really fun. Okay, we're going to start with 
Very, very simple. Sometimes you just want a really quick card. And the, these pre-done cards and envelopes, like you saw in the one that we received, are just a perfect way you can still um, stamp with them. Oh, okay, I don't. Oh no. Well, that's from the other stamp set. Let me see if I have my right stamps out here, or we might have to switch stamp sets. Oh. I am missing. I might have to. You know what? It. They're all on the table, Tim. And what, and they're they, these. what am I looking for? Just, just they're already on. They're, they're missing. See, they're okay. out of here, and they're missing on here. So I won't have to make the first one. Does I'll my, talk about that. Does my uh, microphone cord? Yeah, reach, that's reach right. All the way you just drag the whole thing with you. Yeah, I'm trying to be organized. So I'm just going to show you first. I was just going to make a really quick card while he goes to look for that because we don't need to make this. Then we'll make into the other. I thought I was all organized. I went through all of my all of my ink pads. I thought, oh, I really have it together today. But you know, those are always famous, famous last words. <laughs> so just to have quick cards on hand, this is just really um, just fun. Uh, the words in this, I want to say this, I know you have the strength to get through this and I'll be right by your side. And then there's also celebrating all the wonderful things about you. And then, hello, friend, best wishes and thanks. But this is really a nice, you know, I think we all know someone that would appreciate a card like this right now. If Tim can't find it, then I just do a whole roll switch and we'll do the other one first. And while he's stamping, I'll go find it because I know I can find it. Did you find it, Tim? Yeah. Oh, he did find it. So now we're waiting. <laughs> This is life at our house. Please tell me you might agree. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp on designer. Oh, look at this. Look I, what he found. Just, See, how could I miss that? I just had to figure out how to carry them. <laughs> how could I miss all of these on the table and go through my ink pads and think I have it all together? And it's because there's lots more on the table besides these. <laughs> okay. okay, so what I'm going to do right now this is the In Good Taste Designer Series paper, one of my favorites for stamping on. Anything that's kind of a light background really works well. So I'm going to stamp in black. Let's see, I go, I'll just put it right there. And again, I'm, I'm focused more on sharing techniques, so I don't necessarily need to do the whole card because I'll just show you the card. What I'm going to do now, oh, but yeah, you might want to see the other. So we're going with pink. We're going with a whole different color here. I don't know if there's any pink Queen's Anne lace. I think it is so much more <laughs> light color, but you know, we are not as stampers into realism. That's kind of my, my stance anyway. And I think on this designer series paper, would you like to wash the stamps for me? Mm -hmm. You'll be my assistant here. But look at a fun, bright color that gives. And so now I am going to I'll add my words and just layer. You know, I just do things in quarter inches and I will show you the finished card. Isn't that fun? And you could change and do different colors. And I just added a little detail here. But this is so simple. And this says, I know you'll have the strength to get through this. And then the inside, you can say, I'll be by your side. And I think that's a nice job, Tim. Tim was saying, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's really good. You. We do call him the finder. So every now and then, you just have to prove that to <laughs> the grandkids Karen, that I always call Karen, them the finder. They were not lost. <laughs> okay, these they were, were not They were sitting lost. right out oh. on, on the okay. table. <laughs> Next we'll do something else. So I'm kind of focused on trying to do some different techniques here. This time we're going to use the new Misty Moonlight paper and this time I am going to stamp which, again in black. Which reminds me of a song. Yes and I should probably remember it now that I have the ink pad right in front of me and I can read it. Okay so on this one I'm going to stamp right there. Now that one can be cleaned and I will be using it again. And now this time I'm going to do the little flower pieces in white. White ink? Yes. Did you see where it disappeared too? <laughs> I, was, I, was, I thought it was a joke. I didn't think there was such a thing as white ink. 
Oh, you didn't. What's that? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I was going to say, I was being so careful today to make sure I had all of my inks. Okay. I even announced that, and here it sits. Okay. <laughs> oh, this could be the sh uh, shades of the future here, Tim. This that looks terrible. like... Now, I'm looking for the flowers. Did I have you... Beige ink. I, I, yeah, okay. They have to stay back here on the table. Oh, they do. <laughs> oh, between us, we're going to make quite the pair today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now this time I'm going to ink this in white craft ink. Yeah, Tim did not believe there was white ink. This is different, it's craft ink because you couldn't make it the same as the others because it wouldn't sit. And this needs to sit on the paper more. Uh, and if it were like the others, it would just disappear right in. Okay, I'm gonna put that on and I always like to just hold it a little bit when it's white like this. Make sure it gets on. And I'm not embossing it. Now, if I were to emboss this, I could get a really bright white. I'm looking for this very soft. Uh, this has a little trace of pink in it. Uh, I'm not gonna say it had anything to do with my cleaner today, but you know. <laughs> but then I'm gonna take this. I just stamped this and put Are you it saying just, that Yeah, I, 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 I was referring to you, but you didn't, uh, <laughs> you didn't, didn't pick clean, up on it, so I, you know, I didn't clean it well it. enough. <laughs> okay, uh, I could do the words this way. I'm going to just lay my words. I think this works that I don't actually make the cards. <laughs> you know, I'm one of those um, speedy stampers. I just want to show lots of ideas in a short amount of time. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna add some ribbon. And again, we're gonna put this on. I know you have the strength to get through this. Just think of one person in your life right now who you would love to send this card to, because I know we all know someone. Well, here's the finished one, because I added a little ribbon. And you're gonna notice this one I cut the top wider because I thought, oh, let's go a quarter inch bigger. I just stamped this and then cut it down. You know, th th there don't have to be specific measurements. I can always give them to you, but these don't require it. And then what was left on my part was this. And I thought, I didn't want to cut into a new piece. And you know what? I decided I actually like this better. So that is why it's often fun to do a couple of cards at the same time you know because you find yourself making little variations while while you're at it so I will finish that with ribbon and put that on and that will be like the other can I make a suggestion uh-huh don't use Kleenex to clean off a, a stamp no <laughs> did, you, did you try that yes oh. <laughs> the that others aren't really gonna matter Tim it so leaves it's a really mess. okay now I'm back to another little Card and envelope because I just wanted to show it. And I haven't made this one. I just thought this would be a fun idea to try. So we're going to try it here. Sometimes I like to do something live. I'm going to take two longer post-it notes. Now, I usually just have square shorter ones and then I piece them carefully. But I thought since I had this, let's... Okay, I'm just sort of guessing where I want this. Okay, now I'm going to sponge in here. To give it. I'd seen a card in this idea that I had remembered and I thought, oh, I could do something fun with this stamp set with this. So we are going to, so how many of you like doing quick and easy cards? I mean, that's kind of what I call these. Um, and I like to take cards and make them easy. <laughs> you know, it's, just, it's just kind of, it's both what I like to do and techniques. So this is sea, Seaside Spray and I'm starting just off my page and I am going to, I just find if I start off the page, it usually gives me a little smoother look in here. The look with sponging, you want all those varied colors in it. I'm not looking for a, a smooth, totally filled in look. So I'm using Seaside Spray, oh, I'll leave that open. And then I'm going to add some Misty Moonlight. Love these two colors together. Misty Moonlight is in this year's in colors and seaside spray was in last year's i am going to miss i'm really going to miss the seaside spray and the other really pale color i can't even think of that because oh i just think they add so much to all the richer colors so now here i'm going to just add in blotches of darker color i'm just okay and then we will peel that off and i will use i can use this many times and I have a really pretty stretch. I could move it over. If I were gonna do this on an upright card, I would move it more over to the edge because it would just be more centered. I'm doing it this way, so it's not gonna matter. And now I'm going to take my base and do the dark color. 
can see why I paper under me today. This is getting all a little messy. And I'm going to put this in right through there. And then I just, you know, pass it to the left and I'll come back magically clean. And then I'm going to take the lighter color for the leaves. And I will put this on. And we have just a fun, we have a two-tone look there. Now, if I want to add words, let's just take, uh, oh, I love this, I love this thanks. Let's take this thanks. I just like the styling of it, so I'm going to put my thanks right under here. And I'll close this up. When I close up my ink pads is when I tend to <laughs> get ink all over me. So I'm trying to be a little bit careful or they go on the next card. And then I might want to just add, since it's this color. Lori said she loves quick and easy cards. It's not always time to do a fussy card. Yeah, that's kind of what I think. And we like to get our you know thanks. And that is my final statement. So I'll just put it right there. <laughs> okay, and then... I'm going to do one more out of the set and then we're going to move to the other. I'm going to show you this lovely card that I got from Stampin' Up. Do you know, they, they send out cards too. And this is from Donna who is, um, she works for the home office, but she is in charge of demo support kind of in my area. And so she sent this card to those of us who are going to Leadership Summit, which starts right after this. So that's where I'm going to be doing the next couple of days. And I thought, I just loved, um, and you know, of course, they're always going to do simple cards that they can mass produce a lot of, but I loved how it was just cut apart like this. And I thought, this would be a, a great card to switch to the, what I'm doing today. So I change it. Now, I changed after this, I'm going to make it a lighter color, but do you see how I've taken the very same thing and on the same card uh, you know and I love this is what I love about card swaps I love taking real cards and thinking about what other stamps I can use with them so I'm just going to quickly show how this was done so my first my first layer here is I will measure this uh, is um oh <laughs> I have to turn this around so I have my, my inches where I want them. Three by four and three quarters. Okay, so this is what I'm going to stamp. And I'm going to use, um, I've been using, I was just on a kick of doing these in colors. So I'm going to put a couple of these on because I'm doing it just like hers. I mean, this really, I'll put this one out because this was really my inspiration. this one and then I'm going to put this one okay and then I'm going to use a brighter yellow than I did the other time I had used bumblebee on this and it makes me think of oh, I, I love these colors together because it makes me think of kind of autumn you know when you have all those kind of autumn autumn weeds is what it makes me think of but I thought let's try it in a brighter color so instead of bumblebee we're taking daffodil put these on oh I didn't hit that very well and um, is that really daffodil delight doesn't look like it well we'll try that again maybe my ink pad needs re-inking too and maybe and maybe it's got flecks of Kleenex on it <laughs> maybe. Oh, who, who knows but but it works I still like it so and this is the last card so now we can start cleaning these up off the table and then I'm going to put celebrating all the wonderful things about you. And I'm going to use the Misty Moonlight. I thought it was really interesting. Well, she used even more colors because this is black and then she used blue. And there isn't any blue in the card. So I thought I'm going to use a blue ribbon, but I thought I'll also use blue on the top then. Whoa, we're going to pretend <laughs> that worked, okay? That did not work. Uh, and, you know, if you notice, I do not have a cushion under here. I often put a cushion with photopolymer. That's a, an example right there of why you would want to do that. And if you don't have one, even a catalog works. 
So that's all good, but we'll go ahead anyway. I just won't finish assembling the card. We'll, we'll just talk about it. And then my next layer is three and a quarter inches, just a quarter inch wider. And then it goes all the way, five and a half. So that's just gonna go on my card. And then I'm gonna cut this. Now this first one I did just like hers. This one I, I thought I would do, but see, I'm not gonna waste this and finish it because I'm not gonna be happy with that. So just blame me. Just say Tim Tim. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Tim, you you bumped me. Yeah. Did you guys see that? Did you just see the table just bump? No. <laughs> so this time I'm gonna just do it wherever I want. Because it's really gonna be the same. I really liked how they were all three different sizes. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep that going. So again, this is an idea to just take for other kinds of stamp sets, because how cool is that? Now I have that, so I pop this up on dimensionals, add my ribbon, pop the next on dimensionals and the bottom. And there is the finished card. I think that is just really fun. Okay, now this one, I had to think a little harder to come up with things. This other one is just um, a very classic stamp set. So now I'm ready for that whole little box there, and this, this can come off, but we'll probably still, I don't know if we need any more cleaner or not. We might not. Yeah, we do. <laughs> We've gone through all the, all the, uh, <laughs> all the things you had here. This one is just more of a classic card one. So to start with that, we're gonna start super simple. And I'm just gonna use the Moonlight. I better go get Good, I'm glad you guys like that. Yeah, I think you might wanna get like two more. Oh, he's got a, oh, he's, oh. And you know what? Let me move this, because that obviously I'm done with. I'll put it down there. Okay, I have to get the right ink pads. That's the problem when you get all these ink pads out, you know. Sometimes demonstrators, I have heard say, you know, when they're doing a class, it's just really hard because people will put their inks in the wrong and I always laugh and say, yeah, I've done that myself. <laughs> so I'm not going to blame anyone else. But, but other than the white, I want to protect the white. <laughs> but in most of these, if you go into the wrong color, just dab off your color with a wet paper towel and then re-ink it. You know, I've never, I've never had to throw away an ink pad, but I thought, yeah, I'm as bad as anyone, so uh, <laughs> I won't. And the other thing with, uh, we're gonna do um, some things with coloring with this, but I love that you don't need to color. So here I'm just plain doing it in my blue. And then I'm going to add my words. Whoa, I messed that one up. Now the paper's two sides. And I'm going to tell you what I do about this. And I will, oh, no, that's a different one, which doesn't matter. I could do any of them. I, I just will make more room for Tim to clean. But did you notice how I got that right there? When, when I do that, well, number one, I have too much ink. You want to tap lightly. So I'm going against my own, um, what I say. But I will tell you, if I notice that I'm getting that a lot, now this was by the sew. I can see right where it is. And I actually have a special scissors, my sticky scissors, an old rubber scissors. I will actually take this and trim off the rubber part. Especially if I'm going to be sharing my stamps with a bunch of people because there tends to be kind of the same area. I don't trim everything. I just trim what I end up kind of having some troubles with, so. And then, you know, the way to, that that's supposed to not happen, is if you remember, it's just tap. You know, I went in too far or I rocked it. It's just one, two, three, tap. Put it down and see, no problems at all. Okay, all of these need cleaning. And now look how cool this is just putting on a card. So here's my finished one. I just add another little little gem. A little gem can just kind of make the statement. But uh, And then you put this on the envelope too, just part of that in the corner. There's no coloring. It's simple, and I think it's just really pretty. 
I'm trying to see. Oh, uh, yeah. Is, is it Yarrow? Is that how you spell it? For fall. That's what it looks like to me, too. That's exactly what Char is saying. And that's kind of the colors that I think of it being in. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to just up it just a tiny bit and we're going to use the card and envelope again. Peter Yarrow and Paul Stuckey. That's right. And Mary Travis. Mary Travis, all of those. Peter Paul and The me. other day Tim was talking about the average white band and we actually got a comment, Tim, from somebody who had their records and knew them all, all the right. band from Scotland. So that was just really fun. <laughs> I thought most of us had not heard of that, but Tim is really um, up on into things. his music, you know. Now I am looking for Bermuda Bay right here. So I'm just going to change color. I could do this with the last color too, but since we're just going for variety here, I am going to do this. Because we're still talking about coloring. And sometimes you just don't want to do a lot of coloring. A really nice way that you can just move coloring around is by taking the blender pen. Because this is water-based ink, see I'm going to go around and it's going to make a very, very soft look, not much color. I could try to fill it all in, but I'm not going for that look. You'll see later, I'm not going to do that with other coloring too. But it just adds. Um, it makes it kind of like a little softer watercolor. Tell me if you can see that on camera. So I could, and I'm doing, of course, a very quick job of this. You could be a little more careful in how you're doing it. I'm going to do some with the leaves too. Just fill in the leaves a little. Flowers there. But it really just kind of softens the ink and it looks a little bit watercolored. It gives a little depth. Now to clean this, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to just scrub it. I just want to wipe off the color. You see it's clear now. Even though I see blue there, I can put it in another color. So these are the blender pens. You get three at a time, which is awesome because um, then they will last a long time. And there is a refill. To refill these, uh, I'll have to put the, I'll put a thing on below. But do you see I can just open that? I can refill it. So in the notes, I will put the refill for that. So if I just do that and then, okay. You made my day. And again, quick, soft little card. See, look at the difference between just the regular ink and then the softness of filling in. And of course, I'd probably add a little gem there or something. Uh, watercolor pencils would be great for this set too. That gives a really nice look. Then you would want to stamp in stays on. Today, all I'm using is this and then blends. So we're using, um, so I can tell you more about uh, the inks. So today we're using memento ink because my other coloring is going to be done now with blends but i'm going to do a whole thing soon on watercolor pencils because you know all of these things are fun you got those cleaned oh yeah and you all just get a little different look okay so my next one this one i have one all done and cut out you guys know I so I stamped a bunch of these and then I colored them in different ways and then I cut them out and again that's kind of my just to have on hand and to try different ways of coloring now this is kind of a darker darker color and I thought I'll just make this into a card so I'm taking the papers I'm using for a couple of these cards are from the play play with patterns and I am looking for So I'm going to put this on and I wanted to soften this look a little I thought it just seemed a little too bright on there so my favorite way to soften things is to add some vellum paper and now typically I would use the sponging you know I've showed the technique where it won't show but because I'm in a hurry yeah because I'm in a hurry and you know what and because this is gonna go across here I don't really need to I don't really need to about it so I'm gonna put my vellum on I cut my vellum just a little bit bigger it was on purpose it wasn't an accident so because <laughs> I just kind of like that extra layered look or cutting my vellum a little shorter a little smaller is also a really fun way to just kind of it just adds like another layer 
And then I'm going to put this across my card. And then I'm ready to put this. Now I'm going to put, I'm going to have this popped up. So we're going to go for some die, some uh, dimensionals. I'm put a few of these on. And I'm going to let my ends stick up. They'll be over here and they're going to, I think it's going to be okay to just let them stick up. And I'm going to put that on just any which way at all. Yeah, so it's just kind of fun. So I thought, here's just another quick card. If you have some of these done and ready, they're just like your accents. Then it's so easy to put a card together with anything else that you want. Next, of course, this would be just, again, very simple. We've just stamped it and um, colored it. And you know, you can go with any color. And then this is the one I'm gonna show because they're similar and yet different. This one is with the spotlighting technique. So uh, another card making technique that's easy, you know? So it's just still just great for easy cards. So to do this, uh, is that DSP three by four and three quarters to I think it is, but here I can tell you. Do you know I actually had these printed out, but then it was too hard to keep them with, with it, where they were. It is, it looks like four and a half by, by three and a quarter for my smaller one. And then the next just a little bit bigger. And you know what I did? You know how I decided? I knew I wanted it smaller than this. So first I cut it to this part. I knew I wanted to see a bunch of whites. So I cut it to five. I cut it a half inch down. So five to three and three quarters. And I laid that on. I thought it was still too big. So then I cut off another quarter. And then I think I still cut off another quarter. So actually, I think it's an inch down maybe. But that's just kind of how I do it. I just think in terms of quarter inches and half would be, you know, two quarters. And just kind of go for whatever size that you like. And then that could be used for all kinds of cards. So for this one... I personally like to work with one eighth inch. Yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> uh, Rebecca on here loves, loves the yes. one eighth inch. So we always tease her about that. Okay, I want just a little tiny bit of adhesive stuck here. I'm actually just going to put a glue dot on here. Because I want to be able to pull this off. This piece I did measure, and this is four by four by three. I use a lot of four by threes because it's easy to remember. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just put that on and then I am going to look for my stamp. Stamp or but sponge? You, oh, right here. And, and this should be the last stamping. I'm gonna put one this in this corner and then I'll put this in this corner and I'll put some words in the middle and this time I'm going to angle my words. I'm just going to put them right there. Okay. So I have my stamping done. This flower stamp is so much love. Let me show you this again. And again, both of these stamps that I'm showing today have pretty stylized words that actually both will be interchangeable. But isn't it pretty? So we have the two flowers. We have this little background thing. Here for you, you made my day. So much love for you. And um, let's get the other stamp set out to show afterwards again. Tim, do you know where that one is? Which one? The other stamp set that I'm using, which is floating around here somewhere. Now I'm going to carefully take this off. Now, if you notice on here. Not this one, but another one. Yeah, the other one that I was using. Well, maybe it's not. Oh, it's right here. Queen Anne's Lace is the other. Yeah, so these are the two. Okay. If you look closely, there's a skip. They don't quite connect at the ends because when you stamp over this, it leaves a little gap. And in fact, now it's been cleaned. I was just going to show you. <laughs> but if I restamped again, you'd see a little bit darker place just on plain paper, a little bit darker place right where it missed. You know, it's that little hump. So the perfect way to do a spotlight card, I'll carefully take that off, and you'll see how I'm gonna layer this on something just one quarter inch bigger. And then when I lay that down, it all lines up perfectly, mm. and it looks like it's meant to be. So I just wanted to point out the coloring on this. 
Um, so I kind of did all these today. I was just going to go for something really quick and simple. The card that Tim is going to make already did the flower and that one is fully colored in. But typically to show, since we're really talking about doing things quickly, if you haven't used the blends, you need the memento marker. This is the black that you need. And I always suggest, instead of buying a whole bunch, buy two colors. And flowers are often a common thing. People often buy um, like pinks or something and then a green, uh, something like that. So I am using, and then you can mix and match. I have the light Bermuda, Bla light Bermuda Bay and the dark pool party. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the dark and I'm just adding bits of color. And so I am, and I'm just bringing up from the inside here. I'm gonna go around and do all of the, those little pieces that are folded over. And then I'm just kind of going through and doing from the bottom here. I'm doing this very, very quickly. And then I'm gonna take my dark pool party and I actually think I used before I used the light pool party, but you know, it's whatever we have out here. And either one works. Here I have the, here I have the pencil end. Either one will do, but I'm gonna go back to this, usually for wiping up. The more I go over it, and it won't hurt your paper, the more I go over it, the more it'll blend into just shading and basically look like the same color going on. Now, I didn't realize it didn't bring out the light. So, and I'm not going to care about that, but then I could extend on with the light. And if you have a color lifter, if you find you have too much color on, this will come help both blend and kind of remove a little. I'm not sure you can tell from here, but it's going to make it into a softer look. And I think this is such a fun way to color because you're only coloring in parts of things. It's really quick and easy. So therefore it still fits my quick card making techniques <laughs> but isn't that cool and then how you can put it on there so if you haven't tried these they are really a fun thing to try and then the last card this was the card that started it got this in a swap from betty weisbrook who cased it from kathy house and i shared this the other night and people were all saying oh show us how to make a card like that so Notice, I love how she has the snowman and the trees back there. We're going to make one. We're going to take the same idea, but we're going to make it out of, out of, of course, today's card. So this is, well, we're going to make it a little differently, but kind of on the order. Here's the one I made. And you know what's fun about these? These just stand up and they look like, how would you put that in an envelope? And look at this. They smush flat. And then this part is the same as a regular card. See, it's the same size, so it fits into a regular envelope. Doesn't cost any more to mail, but it has that fun surprise element. I think it'd be fun to put like a photo even in here and then some messages here. And this is so, so easy. So I'm gonna do the shape and then Tim is going to create the card. You wanna make some space? We're done with all that. Yep. And we're using Coastal Cabana. I've been doing a bunch with Coastal Cabana because that's the color that you would get in the starter kit. And so this I did write down. So if you catch a screenshot, and you do know a day later, these go up in my blog, and then I will put the measurements. I put a, a picture of each. So this piece is eight inches by four and a quarter. So it's eight inches, four and a quarter, and we're gonna score it at one and a quarter and two and a half on each side. I always measure that way instead of saying one and a quarter and then whatever this is. So it's just my way of doing it. So I'm going to do two and a quarter, two and a half, one and a quarter, two and a half. Did I say one and a quarter both times no. or did I say two and a quarter? <laughs> I was catching myself, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> now, how cool is this? So here is my card. Okay, so Tim is going to have the <laughs> fun of putting this together. But I cut him some strips. So just here for the are just some strips out of the same pattern paper things. And you can see, what's really cool about these, 
you're just gonna go ahead and put these on and let's just use glue. I don't know if you've used glue before, have you? <laughs> it's the first time for everything, okay. Elementary school, okay, so I have to glue it and decide. You're gonna pick, yeah, this will go in the middle, however okay. you want that, and then these are gonna go on the other sides, okay. so however you decide. And these are from, all these papers from Playing With Patterns. And what, the other thing that's really cool about this pattern is you cut it at four inches and then you just, these strips are all four by one inch. So it's just really, they're easy, um, easy measurements to remember, which is, I think, really fun. <laughs> and while he's doing that, I'm gonna show you now this. this. Now, now look mm -hmm. how you can mm -hmm. move this around. Yes, that is the advantage. I'm, I'm trying to really like this. It's so inexpensive. And it has... Look at this. Yeah, see, that's the kind of thing that happens to me. It can get all over. But it does give you that little wiggle room, which is, which is really a plus. <laughs> and then this is the flower that I cut out. And notice that this one I did differently. This one, I did my dark color around the outside. I just outlined everything in dark and then filled in with the light. So totally different ways of doing things. Okay. So you might think that I'm doing it from my perspective, but it's actually from your perspective. Oh, okay, because it probably it makes a big difference here, yep. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> but you see how it is kind of nice to have that wiggle room to put it on. Oh, it, I think the glue might be the perfect thing for you, Tim. I think it might. Okay. And... So far, so good. See how the light is on the outside, on both sides? That's so, so on it's a, purpose. It's a plan. It's a, it's a plan. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, isn't that a nice... No. What could be? No. No. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Amy says, I've convinced her to order the stamp sets. <laughs> you know, it's funny, but neither of these stamp sets were ones that caught my eye in the catalog and of course I bought a bunch of things and these hadn't been on my list and of course then I I need to get them and play with them because they're free in the starter kit and I love them I, I think it's really fun to kind of pull something out and just start working with them so I'm, I'm very very thrilled with them and it really is a nice starter kit just to give you some really simple things to get started with Looks good. And now these could even be left blank. You wouldn't even have to fill this in. It's all how you want it to oh. look. So it's really your card. I thought it was going to have a thing going over it. but that's, it, it is, but that's, but that's a separate that's piece. A mm -hmm. separate piece. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at comments to see... Um, Nancy puts her glue in a shot glass to keep it upside down. Well, then you always have your shot glass handy too, right? I I have mine upside. I, I have a cup here that has all kinds of things. <laughs> That's how I keep mine. You I'm mini, not the master of organization you have your by mini, any means. Mini slicer. Uh huh. Do you have a plan? Yep. Okay. Tim gotta, has a plan. I got to change things. You know? Okay. So how how many centimeters is this? <laughs> I, I know you know centimeters well, so. <laughs> Oh, he's going to go for a whole new look here. I don't know. <laughs> that might be a problem. Okay. Where are inches? Down there? Down there. Mm hmm So is that one inch? Or here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wherever you want them to be. Is that an inch? See, that's one inch. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I need to, where do I find an inch oh, over here? It's at one inch. So do you want half an inch? Yeah. That, that should be probably half an inch there. But I don't know if it's on the straight. But good enough. Yeah, good enough is good, good enough. Good enough is good enough. Mm -hmm. Especially for me. And with that. Okay. okay. Now. Now. How are we doing? We see okay. what I'm doing? Okay. Oh, they're all just hanging by the seat of their pants. Just waiting to see what you're going to do with. Yeah, thank you. Oh, Lori stores in the center of the glue dots roll. Oh, my goodness. That's a good idea. Okay. You guys are full of ideas. So look at So that'll keep it there, too. Oh, how interesting. You know, we crafters... I have all kinds of ideas for everything, so just ask a crafter, <laughs> you'll have it. The yeah. measurement of the bridge, while he's working on that, I will tell you, if you remember, the card folds up, excuse me, folds up flat like this, and the bridge goes across. 
Therefore, the bridge is five and a half inches wide. So it's easy enough to remember because it's really as much as the base card is going to be. And then, of course, it can be however wide you want it to be. But that's okay. one other thing. Mm -hmm. A little over, over. But I like that. So uh, I, think that I think that's a great idea. And then you kept kind of that other color not, you know, come, yeah. No, that looks yeah, good. Good. So far, so good. Okay, is that crooked? A little bit. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You. Okay, so now. Now, how do you think you're going to put the bridge on, Tim? Here is your bridge. Glue dots. Yeah, it's got glue dots. How are you going to put it on your card? Oh, so it folds. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I think he watched me do that. No, he didn't. I'm just smart. Living with a crafter for all these years. <laughs> Gives me. So isn't that awesome? It's just amazing. So how simple is that? But. And then you're just going to add this. Mm -hmm. will, will it stand up? <laughs> it stands up. <laughs> Success. Okay. And that goes on. And then you're just going to put your flower where you want it to be. And just make sure it doesn't hang over anywhere because this is going to be how big. See, his is at a little angle. And you just look at this and say, you know, he wanted it that way. So it's all good. How cool is that? Really? How cool is that? It folds up and then someone's going to stand it up. So, I hope you ha had fun watching this. Put any questions and comments below. Um, I'm going to hold it since it's mine. Okay. And, okay. <laughs> and really, if you haven't bought the starter kit yet, this is a perfect opportunity. So, uh, give it a try. You have nothing to lose. You can always come back as a customer, but it's just really uh, an awesome thing to do. So I hope you enjoy these quick cards. It was fun. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week. <laughs> so we got to wait until people... Oh, Lori's explaining. Okay. Lori's explaining that she has a great grandpa's shot glasses and she used them for... Oh, she uses them for meds. That makes sense. He drank one shot of homemade wine every night. I thought she was going to make an excuse for why she had so many... <laughs> glue dispensers at her disposal lined up lined up in her wine glasses. I think that's all good. Thanks you guys. Can I tell you about a friend of mine who grew up with her grandpa? He would give her a shot of whiskey when she was in elementary school before she got on the bus. They lived out in the country, middle of the winter. To keep her warm? Yeah. <laughs> stories. <laughs> stories. So we love them. We appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. And watch for that quilt week coming up shortly. And thank you so much to Lori for that quilt. Yes. Thank you very much. And we'll see you later.